Fandy uh, tells them that a blast from the sky basically took the colony ships out. Pike looks at Spock, who sees no signs of additional ships. The Enterprise deploys the uh, tube connecting the two ships. When asked if she remembers anything, Fandy says a farmer saw a rain on fire falling from the sky. There are about a hundred survivors. Lan asks Thandy about the rest. Thandy says she doesn't know. There were no bar- bodies, just blood marks that would even let you know they were ever there. Number one, and Lan speculate on what weapons might have been used. A young girl runs by them, screaming about monsters. Lan stops her and asks her about the monsters. The girl's father was taken by them. She didn't see them. She only heard them, and they made a clicking or clucking sound. And basically all the color drains out of Lan's face here. And she tells Pike to uh, scan for EM signatures. Spock detects a hologram near the second moon. Lan tells them to raise the shields, but they can't since the tube is deployed. Pike just says, oh no. And it was actually one of the scariest oh no's I've ever seen on anything. Because you can tell he knows what's coming. Yeah, man. Yeah. Lan freezes as she sees the Gorn ship approach and open fire. Number one pulls her away as the cargo ship and transport tube are destroyed. Lyon imagines her brother as she comes to in sickbay. Several members of the crew have been injured. Una is leaning against the wall with her guts leaking out. Una lets uh, Lyon know that the mother of the little girl didn't make it. When Lyon asks about the little girl specifically, uh, number one just kind of shakes her head. Yeah, I don't know if that was meant to signify she didn't make it or that Una didn't know. Yeah, it could be either one, and I, I... I think it's safe to assume she didn't make it. Yeah. Going to her brother right here, I did not understand that that was who we were looking at until later. Yeah, they kept it kind of cryptic. The first time I saw him, I was like, wait, are they like acting like the Gorn can shapeshift or something? <laughs> well, that would be cool if they were, if the Gorn were shapeshifters who liked to appear like dudes in rubber suits. La'an kind of looked scared every time, at least for the first couple of times she saw him. So. I was like, hmm, what is this? Uh, Yeah, (laughs) I assumed it was some form of PTSD, but I didn't know who the the character was with the first couple sightings, you know? 